Hi, morning everyone. How are you? When you come on, please say hello. Let me know what you got up to over the weekend. Hope you had a very, very good one. We had a fab time yesterday up in Blackpool and the weather managed to hold off for the duration um, of the warm up and the walk. So all good, all good. When you come on though, please say hello. Um, I wanted to come on because I wanted to talk to you about this and, to, and sort of help make you think about maybe how you come across in the day um, when you're out and about with friends and family. Um, hello, hello, when you come on, please say hello. Um, and are you a, I have to get this, I always get, I can't say, but are you a conscious goodness spreader? So what does that mean? Morning, Helen, does that mean? So one of the things is I'm very conscious when I go to a fitness class, when I'm going to teach, if I was to walk into a class, and I had a face like thunder on and um, I was going to class, I wouldn't sort of pass on a very good vibe to everyone else in the, in the <laughs> class. Oh, where's that come from, Mama? Um, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be passing on a very good vibe and probably my vibe would impact the whole of the class. It's the same for all of us, it doesn't matter whether you teach a fitness class, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a nurse, whatever, whatever is an industry you're in, how you come across is really, really important. It will also impact everyone else around you. Now, you're all head of those like negativity um, sappers where, you know, those people that walk into the room and they just suck all of the energy out of the room. But then you will also know those people who come into the room and for some reason the, the room just lights up and everything is vibrant. So it's ha having a little think about sort of where do you feel you sit and actually you can bring joy to a room. It's a lot of, it's like practicing um, and being very aware of how you come across because you can decide how you want your day to go. And I put in the stories a few questions, for, I suppose, for you to ask yourself. Hi, Carolyn, to ask yourself every single morning. And I usually do this when I'm getting a shower, although this morning I haven't had a shower yet. Um, but I've still asked myself these questions. Um, so I want you to ask yourself these questions and I'll also add them, once I finish the video, I'll add them to the top so that you can ask yourself the question. So the first one is, what can I get excited about today? So in the morning, if you're always waking up and you're feeling very, everything's feeling very, very heavy and you're not feeling great, I want you to actually intentionally take that time to sit, to think and say, right, okay, what is it that I can get excited about? And there will be something in the day. It may be, picking your children up from school so you can give them a hug. It may be you're going out with friends in the evening. It may be that you're meeting up with family that you haven't seen for a while. Whatever it is, you can usually find something good in the day that will get you excited about it. And practicing that every single day will really, really help change your mindset. Question two is thinking about what or who might cause you stress during the day and how you can deal with it. So as your best self, how would you deal with it or that person? So being aware of that in advance, so if you think, right, okay, there's someone who I work with who I really, really don't get on with, and they're gonna be, is actually thinking about, okay, me as my best self, how would I deal with that person? So that I can you can intentionally go into that day, so if you're going to come across that person, how you can sort of make it so that it's not impacting you and your day. So your thought process, that and being aware of it in advance so you know how to deal with it so that's question number two and num number three is what or who can I surprise and say thank you to today who has re maybe really really helped you or supported you with something it might have been something over the weekend it might have been something this morning just a, a thank you and practicing gratitude sort of every single day now those are three questions that I would love you to sort of start thinking about every single morning I'm building that in as a pattern. Morning, Annette. Morning, Wendy. Morning, Kim. Um, well done again, Kim, for last week. I so, so pleased with how you're getting on. Um, but I'm really, really having to think about who you can thank today, who's helped you with something. And again, practicing gratitude. It is all about mindset and thinking about how you're going to go into your day. Because we, and if you're finding that you are surrounded by a lot of negative people, then it's you that has to decide to move and remove yourself from them. No one else can do that for you. So it's about surrounding yourself with very, very positive people, but also practicing little techniques that will help you 
flip your mindset if you find that your mindset has gone to more of a negative one. So I hope this video has helped. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments on it. I'd also love to hear what you've got planned for this week. I've got a very, very busy week. I'm currently planning for and getting ready for the comedy night on Thursday, which I am, I am, I am practicing a technique to make sure that my nerves don't sort of get the better of me. Um, so I've got that coming up on Thursday. So I am really, really excited about it with a bit of nerves in it, which I'm sure that is always good. Um, and then I have the Splash Dash on Saturday. There's class tonight, um, Heswell British Legion for Club of Size, and we've got Zumba on Saturday as well, um, as well as obviously helping up clients with all the, the challenge groups. So a very, very busy week for me. I hope you have a very busy, but maybe fun-filled um, week ahead. Hi, Kim. Ordered lots of smaller size dresses for a wedding this week. Really didn't think I'd get to this size again. So thank you for this. Oh, so pleased. Well done, well done, Kim. Um, so, so, and you're gonna have to show me now what you bought. You'll have to send me some pictures of what clothes you've got. Uh, I want to see what you've got. Um, but no, I hope those three questions will really, really help you think. And if you start building that into every single day, you will gradually start noticing that your mindset is changing and that it's focusing on more of the positive than the negative. So I hope that's helpful today. On that note, have the most incredible Monday and I look forward to speaking to you again soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.